Check it out. We're going to learn how to make this dice simulator in Microsoft Excel. Let's start with a blank Excel workbook. Now the first thing that we want to do is adjust the size of the rows and columns. So select all of the cells, then adjust the column width to size 3. Then adjust the row height to size 20. And while all of the cells are still selected, let's change the vertical alignment to middle and the horizontal alignment to center. Next, let's select the range A1 through M11 and add this blue-gray fill color. Then select B2 through D4 and remove the fill color. Now select the range A1 through M11 again and use Control C to copy. Then select O1 and use Control V to paste. Awesome. From here, select cell Q3 and enter the following formula. Equals ran between function 1, comma, 6, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula will simulate the random number for our die roll. And since we want 6 dice, go ahead and select the range P2 through R4, and use Control c to copy, and then select T2, and use Control v to paste, select X2, use Control v to paste, select P6, use Control v to paste, select T6, use Control v to paste, then select X6, and use Control v to paste. We now have our six random numbers to simulate our die rolls. The next step is to create the visual component of our dice. So, starting in cell B2, enter the following formula. Equals, if function Q3, less than sign, greater than sign, 1, comma, quotation mark, lowercase l, quotation mark, comma, double quotation mark, close parentheses, and press enter. Now select the formula text, use Control c to copy, select cell D4, and use Control v to paste the formula text. Next, select cell B3 and enter the following formula. Equals, if function Q3 equals 6, comma, quotation mark, lowercase l, quotation mark, comma, double quotation mark, close parentheses, and press enter. Now select the formula text, use control c to copy, select cell d3, and use control v to paste the formula text. Next, select cell b4 and enter the following formula. Equals, if function, Q3 greater than 3, comma, quotation mark, lowercase l, quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, quotation mark, close parentheses, and press enter. Now select the formula text, use control C to copy, select cell D2, and use control V to paste the formula text. And now for the last formula, Select cell C3 and enter the following formula. Equals if function is odd function Q3 close parentheses comma quotation mark L quotation mark comma quotation mark quotation mark close parentheses and press enter. Now the formulas that you just wrote Look at the randomly generated number and then place lowercase l's on the dice to represent the dots on the face of the dice. So all that's left now is to change the l's into dots. And we can do this by selecting the range B2 through D4, then change the font family to wingdings, and then change the font size to 20, and now you have dots on the dice. 
All we have to do now is select the range B2 through D4, then copy the range using Control C, select F2 and paste, select J2 and paste, select B6 and paste, select F6 and paste, and select J6 and paste. Since we used relative references to write our formula for the dice, all of the references update each time that we paste so that each dice references the different random numbers that we created earlier. And that saves us from having to rewrite all of the formulas over and over again. That said, let's just add a few finishing touches to get everything to look really nice. Start by selecting the range B10 through L10, merge and center, remove the fill color, increase the font size to 12, bold the text, and then type in press F9 to roll the dice. Next, select columns O through AA, right click, and hide the columns. Finally, go to view and turn off the grid lines. You now have a fun dice simulator in Microsoft Excel. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or if you have any questions. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.